Hey y'all, welcome to my channel, Plant Based Storm. I'm Stormy, and this is a place where I love to share all things whole food, plant based. I eat a high carb, low fat, whole food, plant based diet, no oil. And today I wanted to come on here and do a special recipe for y'all. It is going to be a um, tortilla recipe. I've been wanting to make one on the channel sometimes, so I decided that I would go ahead and do this a video. And I hope that this is something that is um, helpful to you. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it and see how they're made. Just want to go ahead and say this is not like just a plain Jane um, flour tortilla recipe. It is a sourdough recipe. And you don't have to um, use the sourdough if you don't want to. If you want to uh, change it up, I'll actually link both the recipes in the box. But instead of using the sourdough, you could use like, it calls for a half cup of sourdough starter. You would use a quarter cup of flour and a quarter cup of water extra aside from the other flour and water that's already in this recipe to make up for the difference of not using the starter. So it's really simple to swap that out if you just wanna make plain flour tortillas instead of sourdough tortillas. Tacos are one of our favorite plant-based recipes and it's really hard to find flour tortillas without all of the extra added oils and sodium and things that we don't want in it. So we just make ours homemade a lot of times or use corn tortillas because corn tortillas are a whole lot easier to find without all of the extra fat and junk in it. I'm really excited to show you this recipe. So. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is add in half a cup of sourdough discard. Now, I'm not sure how familiar you are with sourdough, but the discard is the portion of the sourdough that you remove after feeding it in order to keep the yeast active and alive. So this would be what you would be throwing away, and there's no, I hate to waste stuff. So I love to try to use my discard in ways where I'm not actually wasting it. And this recipe does that beautifully. So all your starter is, is flour, water, and yeast that have accumulated and live symbiotically in um, this slurry together. And you feed it like warm water and flour uh, and just mix it up and then they just keep flourishing. This particular sourdough was gifted to me by a friend who got it from um, King Authors website, which I've ordered from them as well. And I think that this, um, I think this starter is like over a hundred years old, if I'm not mistaken. And I'll put the link below if you're interested in making this to yourself. You can order from King Arthur Flower um, the starter, and it comes in a little container. I actually have the container. Hold on. So it actually comes in this little container here and King Author, and it sends you all of the instructions how to keep your starter alive. And you don't have to use this. Sourdough starter just simply gives it that tangy, delicious sourdough flavor. It is something that we love and something super delicious. Sorry if you hear my kiddo in the background. He's in there playing, so he may be making some noises. But anyway, so half a cup of that. And then I use a quarter cup of applesauce and this is going to um, be like the oil in the recipe because this is an oil free recipe as well then you want to add in a third a cup of warm water and this is just slightly warm um, i think i put it in the microwave for eight seconds you don't want it hot just warm enough to get the yeast active and going then you're just going to add in a half teaspoon of baking powder and a half teaspoon of salt now i've cut the salt way down um, on this recipe you can add up to two teaspoons but we like to keep it really low sodium and there's already sodium in the baking powder as well then i'm going to go ahead and mix this all up so if you're not super familiar with sourdough this is how bread and all things that were bread products that rose used to be made before there was commercial yeast. Um, so this is something that's been going on a long, long time. And it just adds a beautiful, wonderful, great flavor to your bread products. Okay, so next thing I'm gonna do is add in, 
I'm gonna add in three cups of flour. Now this is the Bob's Red Mill. You can use whatever you have. This is the bread flour. All right, so there's the three cups of flour. And then I'm gonna add in one cup of cornmeal. Now you don't have to do that. You could actually add four cups of flour if you would like instead of using the cornmeal. But this is just going to give it a little bit of texture and an uh, additional layer of flavor. Just something kind of fun to change it up. Okay. And then you're going to want to keep a extra cup of flour on hand. Um, and add it as needed. Um, if you need to add a little bit more when if the dough is too wet or whatever. And I'm going to go ahead and put this on the stand mixer and let this mix up um, until it is incorporated and kneaded well. And I'll be right back. Okay, so now I got that all mixed up. And sometimes you have to add a little bit more water. And I ended up adding more water and I didn't need any more flour at all. It just really depends on the hydration of your starter. Now, I keep my starter at 100% hydration. Um, so anyway, you just have to kind of judge by that. Now this is kind of tacky, but it's definitely nowhere near sticking to my hands and that's what you want. It smells so, so good. And we're just going to let this sit in this bowl and cover it up for about 30 minutes. And then we're going to roll oh, these out. Making? making some tortillas. Does that sound good? Yeah. Okay, so then you're just gonna roll, um, roll this up. Now, I added like a third of a cup of water at a time until it came together and formed a ball, and that's all you really need to do. So let's just go ahead and get this covered up and let it sit for 30 minutes and then come back and roll it out. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do is get ready to roll these out. We're just gonna sprinkle a little bit of flour here so that it, I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of flour here so it doesn't stick to it. So what I like to do is just divide it in half and keep doing that. And so I've just divided this into 28 equal pieces. By doing that, by dividing it in half and dividing it in half until I, I reach the 28 pieces. So just go ahead and roll them into a ball. And then we're gonna cover them and let them rest for five minutes and then we're gonna press them out and cook them. tortillas i hope you like this video if you did don't forget to share and subscribe and as always thanks so much for watching 